had a hamburger with homemade buns. The buns were just okay. It's Comics and Shots, a completely improvised semi-comedic musing by Howard Stern's Mick the Nerd, aka YouTube and TikTok's Mick the Maverick Man. Yeah. I bet you just go by Maverick Man. That's a cool name. Yeah. Uh, today's subject. Uh, hmm. Let me think. Uh, what did I read? Oh, Neil Before Zod. Yeah. Anyone reading that? It's pretty good. I'm not really down for, like, uh, villain books that much, but General Zod's, like, an interesting one, you know, like, just desperately trying to become a power in the galaxy, create armies with his eradicated drones, genetically engineered soldiers of the native population, with his son somewhere out there in the galaxy, hanging out. With the son of Sinestro for some reason. Not a Batman villain, a Green Lantern villain. It's kind of odd. Sinister Sons is a fun book, but it's like, they, why not like Man Bat's Kid or like a, another one of the Penguin's Bastard Children, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And for, the user, for, for, for all you old school fans, they fight coons in it. Or is it cahooned? I forget. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. A.K.A. the real Klingons. They even look kind of like Klingons in it. It's freaking great. Uh, I love Cahoons. They really need more good guy Cahoons. Like, you know, I don't really like an entire race of villains, you know. Like, that's the, that's what I love about Star Trek Next Generation, where it's like, they kind of like, uh... What's the best word? Redeem Klingons? No, uh, show, show, they definitely, they show more of them, that they are more than just, you know, like, bloodthirsty warriors. They're an ancient tradition-based culture that has very, that, that has righteous, righteousness to it. It's all improvised. Righteous righteousness to it. I didn't plan that. If I did, why would I? <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's like, issue. we're like in issue three of Neil Before Zod right now. I don't know how long this series is going to last. Probably like six issues, six issues. By the way, I really hope someone tells him about War World and all the Phalosians, because, you know, Zod's a dick. He's a bit of a dick. He's pretty much a villain. He's kind of like Black Adam in space. And yes, I consider Black Adam a villain. Like, well... Anti-villain, maybe. I don't know. He has a heart. Black Adam has a heart, too. But, like, uh... While General Zod is in it for himself, he al he's also a proud Kryptonian. And if he learned what happened with the Phalosians on Warworld, and how the United Planets didn't do jackass... Yeah, he's blowing stuff up. He's blowing it all up, baby. He blowing it all up, baby. Yeah! 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 <sighs> Blowing it all up all the time, always. Yeah. And then Clark will have to come in and try to, like, you know, lessen the damage for a bit, but then kind of be on Zod's side, call out the United Planets, because the United Planets in the comics, they're kind of evil. They're kind of evil. Or at least useless. Kind of a metaphor for the United Nations, pretty much... Are they evil or are they useless? These are the questions, people. These are the questions. With that, like, comment, and subscribe. Donate if you're feeling nice. And I always remember, praise be to the Blood Elk and fear the Stabopotamus. And happy Mario Day. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. I should have talked about a Mario comic. <laughs>